Hey, what's going on guys? It's Paul with 12 Volt Review. If y'all are down from the south, I hope y'all enjoyed those two uh, snow that we had for, for this year. Uh, that's been a long time since I've seen two snows in, in one year, usually just like either snow or, or a freeze or just a freeze or just for nothing at all. For shorts and shirt and something like that. But Anyway, uh, today I got a radio for you. It's a uh, Pioneer. It's a DEH-X8600BS. Uh, this radio has a one year warranty. It's also got uh, you know USB, it's got high volt pre-outs. Uh, the average cost around is like 219, 229. And uh, it's got a lot of features to it, so let's get it out of the box and see what's inside. Alright, open the package here. See we got the comes with a remote. It's always good, it's got the battery built into it. Got a wiring harness. Without that the radio won't do anything for you. Uh, we also got uh, insulation screws and CD keys. There's actually two CD keys here, just kind of one on top of each other. That's so in case you use the keys, you can pull the radio out. Uh, we got a three-foot uh, USB extension. You know, that's for the the, the USBs in the back of the radio. But I'll show you all that here in a few minutes. And uh, excuse me, let's see here. Got the warranty. No, 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 no. This is not the warranty. This is the manual. The warranty card still in there. Anyway. Uh, this tells you everything you need to know. Uh, you can also, if you can't really find anything in the manual, but you know the radio has the feature, you can go to the Pioneer website, look at the manual, and you can search through the PDF by typing in certain you know, words or whatever, and that way you can find some stuff better, but it does go with the manual. I'll stick that right there. And way in here, this is the warranty card. <laughs> what your warranty? Alright, so, oh, there's a... Uh, it's the Bluetooth mic. There's nothing else in the box, so I'm gonna set it off to the side. And uh, this is the Bluetooth mic. This is for the Bluetooth. Uh, it's a little styrofoam for packing materials. We've got the little plastic baggie to I guess keep the dust off of it. And the little corner protectors. And another corner protector. And when you get it, it has got the little thing. This is like for uh, stores and stuff. You can. People in the store, they stick it in the wall, just kind of gives a basic review of the basic features the radio has. But uh, anyway, that's the everything out of the box. Um, let me get it mounted up and powered up, and uh, we'll see what the front looks like. All right, we got the back end turned around here. We'll do this one first, like we always do. I'll start from the left hand side to work with the right hand side. Uh, first thing we got over here, this is the antenna plug in. This is what you plug in your your uh, antenna, your vehicle may require an antenna adapter, so you can look that up and see if you need, need one or not. Usually newer vehicles require one. This is where the 5 volt, 1 amp USB output, that's what you plug your your uh, 3 foot USB extension in. You can run it to, a, you know, just hanging out of the dash or glove box or a pocket or something if you have one. To write this, this little part right here, this is for the Sirius XM module. That's an optional module that you can purchase. That module usually runs around 100 bucks or so, depending on where you get it from. And uh, that way you can get a you know satellite radio. Of course, that's a subscription, so you would have to uh, you know sign up for that. And next over here, got the fuse, the power plug. That's where you put put your power plug in. You got your speaker wires and power and everything. Over here, we got your um, little square here with the two holes in it. The top one is for the microphone, and the bottom is for steering wheel control module or our wired remote input. And what that does is, if your car has steering wheel controls and a steering wheel that control the radio, you can purchase purchase another optional module, get it programmed to wire it up and plug it in here, and you can control the functions from the radio or to the radio from the steering wheel on your steering wheel, something like that. Anywho, over here we got a front, rear, and subwoofer, four volt preouts. Um, you have a choice of having like just a base amp, uh, you can have just like a, a high amp, two high amp and a base amp, one high amp, base amp, four channel, base amp, five channel amp, all kinds of different config configurations for base and highs. And uh, that's pretty much it for the, for the back side. Uh, let's get it turned around, we'll get it powered up and see what the front side looks like. Alright, we get it powered up here and uh, First thing I just want to do is go to a setup. So what we'll do is we'll just uh, press this volume knob in because that's your control key. Uh, you can select your what, what language you want. I want to speak English. Calendar. If you want to go ahead and 
change the date on here, go ahead and do that, that'd be fine. Looks like it's pretty close to current date as it is. I think today is the 29th or something. Yeah, 29th. January 2014. Snow on the ground. Anyway, got that changed. Uh, clock setting, we'll just say it's 3 o'clock. 12 hour or 24 hour military time if you want to do it that way too. Uh, contrast is to set the kind of like a, a different version of the, of the dimmer on here. And quit, yes. Okay. First thing it boots up after that, it goes into uh, standby or what else it says, it says demo start. So the first thing you want to do is when you get your radio installed is find the, the system in the menu and turn off demo. That's what I'm fixing to do right now so that way it won't start doing stuff while I'm talking to you. So system, that's that wrong, wrong, wrong way here. Uh, system, here we go. Connection, be Bluetooth, through memory, Bluetooth audio, scroll, demo off. Yes, demo off. All right, so uh, anyway, I got, I got demo turned off because what demo does is after three, 15 to 20 seconds, of you not touching any buttons, it switches back over to demo mode. So any preset stations or bass and treble controls, those will be automatically um, de deleted. You gotta start all over again. So that's what demo mode it just lets you look at everything temporarily and deletes everything. Okay, uh, the first thing we see here is a nice glossy black trim ring and face. Uh, the illuminations, it's it's. It's still bright, but not as bright as, as last year's models were. They have a nice look. You kind of like see into them. Kind of like a you know, translucent look instead of just a you know one color on the whole thing. You actually see like 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 a, like a depth into the colors. I think my camera did that anyway. Um, got the CD slot here. Got the eject button. If you have a CD, you just press eject. And it'll spit it out if there was one. It has a nice little display when you. Uh, little animation there. It's pretty cool. Over here, you got the source. Uh, you just you know, keep selecting it with whatever you want. Like I said, if you want to stop on auxiliary, you just you know, release and let it wait for a second. And this is your aux input right here. Alright, so that's the tuner button with the tuner. Uh, there's no presets here because they wanted to make the screen bigger, so they actually had to move the presets into a different situation, which I think, and we'll find those here in a few minutes. Uh, we also got the up and down buttons, which is your actual, here they are, I found the presets right off the bat. You, you see them on P.CH3, I'm on preset channel number three, number four, number five, number six. If you hold it down, it just like scrolls through all of them, and this one sends sends them back. Um, the mix button that's if you uh, that's a free program. It's called for mix tracks. You download that from PioneerElectronics.com. You install that on your computer, and you dump all the music you have on your computer into the program, and the program will digitize all the songs together, like like a DJ at a club, and you can select whatever beat you want. And then afterwards, you save it to a USB drive. And then when you plug the USB drive on, you click this mix tracks button. The light starts flashing, dance with the music, and all the songs are blended together like as if you was at a DJ's club. And also, you can also set the length of each song longer or shorter, so you don't play the whole song before it changes over to the next song. You play like a minute and a half or something on the first song, and two minutes in the second song or something like that, or, or whatever. Uh, let's see, we also got this little magnifying glass here. I'm in the tuner part of it, so I'm going to press it, and uh, I think this is where I can select channels. So, let's see here. Let me, get a, let me find a, just a basic channel. Okay, I'm on 90.9. Uh, so I press this little magnifying glass. Use my volume button to select, uh, let's say I want to put it on number 4, 90.9. I'm going to press the hold button in. And now 90.9 set, set the channel preset channel number four, and you can also select it, or you can go up to 
different ones by using the, these little up and down buttons here. This little button I did pre briefly actually changes your channels up and down. So if you have a CD in here or some music on your a USB, your iPhone, or iPod, or Android, you can use this to go back and forth between the songs, you know, up, or up, down. This little button right here, nice chrome button with a little bent arrow, that's a backup menu or escape menu button. So if you're in some menus, you can press the button, it'll escape out of them to the de default bottom, probably whatever, you know, source you're on. Uh, the phone button, which is this nice big color button up here, you click on it. You got phone function, and you click on it. We're using the volume button because it's like your your main inner key for whatever menu you're in. Auto answer. Uh, let's see, we'll click on. So I turn the button. If you want the ringtone, yes. Auto. Apparently, that's all you get for for phone functions. Apparently, once a phone is paired to the radio, you get a little a couple more features on there. Um. If you press your volume button while you're not doing anything straight in, it actually comes with all your menu settings here. You can use the volume to cycle through all the stuff. So I want to find function. I'll start with that one. I click on it. Goes into that menu. You got best station memory, local, tuning mode. That's a uh, you can either like when you do this, it cycles through your presets, uh, whatever sort band one, and a local. Hang on. Tuning mode or manual. That actually changes back over to state the regular radio stations. Alright, we'll back out of that. That's pretty much it for tuning, I mean for the function, I believe. Let's make sure. Yeah. Okay. Next one over is audio. That's one of the most important parts. That way you can tune the audio to make it sound the way you want to. Fader and balance, we know what that is. That's fade at the front, back, rear, left, right. So you can fade it all the right rear speaker if you wanted. Uh, next is preset EQ. You go in here, you got your powerful, natural, uh, vocal, custom one, custom two, flat, and stuff like that. So if you go to custom one, custom two, um, you, have to, you have to go to graphic equalizer. So when you go to here, or GEQ, you can actually make your own sounds. Turn your, your volume knob to select whatever band you want. To the right is highest, the left is bass, and the middle is, well, spins, middle. Select what you want, rotate it some more, and turn up the highs, press it again to enter it. Rotate your volume to the next one, turn it up to wherever you want it to be. You know, kind of play with it. You might have to, different songs, sounds a little different, so you may have to. Yeah, I just went several times, you had to get that just right for all songs. Then you have a custom one, custom two, so if you have two different styles of songs, let's say country or rock or rap or whatever, you can do custom two of the totally different EQ settings. You can just switch, switch, switch between each one, uh, whichever one you want. So right there I was in the what's this, audio uh, loudness. Uh, if you click on the button, you got off, uh, mids, Let's see, off mids, and you, then you turn it to the right, you get highs, and you turn it to mids, and then lows. So, loudness just gives you a lot more power to the out outputs of the radio, makes it sound louder, and, and really up, you know, gives a lot more oops to all your EQ settings. Alright, I'm back out of that once. Going once more, we got subwoofer, you go into here, you got your normal and reverse. And uh, norm normally you just leave it on normal unless you're doing some different stuff. It might require the reverse sounds. So over two, pretty much the same thing. See if you get the hertz and the gain for the hertz. So if you normally would start off at 80, and then how much power you want to output on that that particular hertz. Bass booster gives you a little harder hit. You get uh, looks like up to point with plus six. And zero. Uh, the next one up is high pass filter. If you're on, if you're you know, running some highs, you got highs amps and bass and treble, and, uh, mids and treble, and you kind of want to take some of the bass out, you can go in here and work on the high pass filter. Uh, but norm normally, if you just listen to radio with normal speakers or factory speakers, or maybe even change out your factory speakers to something new, 
you can leave that alone, but if you really want to play with it, you can. Um, next one's back to Fader and Bounce. So we're all through with the audio section. The next one is Entertainment. You go into here. Um, this changes the way the background is. There's a graphic, you know, motion fluid background. It just, just runs like, like, like a screensaver over and over again. Got some little lines. Uh, background picture. Just, just sits there. Nothing fancy. Background two, three, four. Little spectrum analyzer just for fun. Uh, level indicators. You know, kind of like the spectrum analyzer, but you know, little things that are happening. Dolphins. Uh, Pioneer loves dolphins, so they try to inter integrate dolphins in all the radios that have a screen on them. And you also get the date and time of a uh, just sitting on there all the whole time and nothing. All right, that's all for entertainment. Uh, the next one is illumination. Illumination key side is all the things with keys on it. And what you do is this actually changes the color. So if you see over here, you got red, red. Uh, see. So uh, look, I've got white, white here. So this, this over here, and this over here, it's called, it's called the keys. So let's say we want to make it green. And display side is apparently is everything is right here. Oop, what that? Okay, you enter it. Uh, we make this whatever color you want. Let's say we want to make it. Uh, well, let's say red. Christmas Eve, got red, green. Anyway, and then you got the next one, you get key and display, so it's, everything's all one color. So, like, if you want to, so it changes, everything's all one color. But you can actually, if you have, like, a favorite football team, baseball team, that has two colors, you can put your favorite colors in there. Uh, the next one is phone. So, like, when the phone rings, it flashes in whatever color you want to flash. Illumination effect, you want it on, it makes it more vibrant and fun to watch. And then of course make the key side and display side, both of them, all just for the phone section. Uh, I think that's it for illumination. We can make, make sure you got everything. Yeah. That's pretty much it. And the next one is system. Uh, Ever scrolls off. Uh, you can turn that on if your song title is too long. It'll scroll across the screen. But, Ever, but it'll be like constantly scrolling. Ever scroll off means it. It was it'll scroll all the time. That's why it's off by default. It only just scrolls once and stops. Uh, next, we have Bluetooth audio. This is a bit, what this does. Is it turns off the audio, like music and stuff, you know, from playing on your phone from the radio. Uh, clear memory. It just clears the memory from uh, the Bluetooth. Um, like if you had like six or seven phones paired into it or whatever, you can pair them out. You, you can only have so many phones paired in the radio before it starts. Not allowed anymore to be prepared. Uh, back out. Next one is Bluetooth version. Tells you what Bluetooth version is. Um, app connect mode is wired. You know, if you have an iPhone or iPod, you have to you have to purchase a, a special cables using around 50, 60 bucks. Plugs in behind the radio. It comes out, and you actually have you know a lot better, a lot more features than just playing music on your thing, on your iPhone. It will charge up your iPhone or, or Androids, so you, need, uh, you can charge your phone up while you're playing. And we're back to the language select. Uh, the next one is mix tracks. This is where you can select the different illuminations, how long or short the play playback you want to be. Uh, the flash here, if you want to be key side or, or display, I believe. Flash your color, what color you want it in, and what kind of effects you want. So you, you can uh, mess with that while the music's playing if I don't want to just just try to have like a little list of different stuff to choose from. And the next back's the function. Uh, let's see, that's pretty much it. Um, I don't see any other features. Of course, you've got CD, um, FM radio, Sirius XM radio, aux input, Bluetooth. You know, for phone calls, hand-free phone calls, they don't answer your calls while you're driving. You never have to, have to touch your phone while the whole, during the whole conversation. It'll pick it up and answer for you and and hang up after the phone call ends. And you can also do some, while it's ringing and, and stuff like that, you can, you, you can actually, you know, decline the phone call before it actually uh, picks up and stuff. 
anyway, that's pretty much it. It's a really nice radio. Um, uh, it has nearly every feature you can possibly Alright, we got it all back in the box and everything. Uh, I forgot to mention it does have an attachable face. You just press the thing and pop it off. That way you can take it inside and wherever you want to go. But anyway, that was the Pioneer DEH-X6000BS. And BS does not stand for bull malarkey. It stands for Bluetooth and Sirius XM. Um, you know, USB aux input. Um, of course, you know, like I said, Sirius XM input. Um, durable colors, flashing brightness. Uh, also has a dimmer and a contrast. So you can, if it's too bright, you can dim it down a little bit. That's one feature I, I must overlook or something there. But it does have a dimming feature. iPhone, iPod controls. You will need an optional cable. 50, 40 to 60 bucks or so. Uh, Android, you just plug your thing in there, but make sure your USB debugging is turned on. Uh, I have noticed that my phone, I have an Android Century or something like this. It's just a cheap, cheap uh, temporary phone. I get a better one. I can't seem to get it connected, but I have had an Android and uh, Galaxy S2 that worked just fine. Uh, but anyway, uh, it's Pioneer X8600 BS. Um, one year warranty, around two, 200 to 229. Really nice radio, and I approve of this message. I appreciate y'all watching this Apollo 12 overview. I hope y'all have an awesome day, and please subscribe.